Oh, interesting. I thought it was implausible, total junk. Hi, it's Todd of Todd's Workshop and Todd Cutler here. And today I'm back with a three inch thick, 75 millimeter piece of oak. I've just done a film about three longbow myths. And unfortunately I got caught up in the moment and I didn't do the one thing I was really supposed to do, which was shoot my arrows at three inch thick oak, 75 millimeter. So here we are. We're back with my oak, my trusty lockdown longbow, which simulates a longbow of 160 pounds in draw weight and my true weight medieval arrows shooting needle bodkins. What is brilliant about the comments on my channel is I learn a lot and I put the shout out asking for information. Where did this myth come from? Eric Fossheim, thank you very much. You came up with the answer, which was Gerald of Wales. Gerald of Wales toured around in 1188. He came to Abergavenny Castle. There'd been a battle there in uh, 1182 and arrows were shot at a, a three inch thick oak door and the arrows penetrated the oak door to the depth of a hand. Possibly a mistranslation, possibly the oak door was three inches thick and they penetrated the door, as in they stuck in. Don't really know. Maybe Gerald made the whole thing up. Maybe he just told lies. The, the door is probably old. Old like this is. This is 10 year old English oak. It's made of two planks, unfortunately. I didn't have any three inch thick, but the thickness is true to form. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw this onto the target. We're gonna shoot it with the arrows and we're gonna see what happens. Because it'll be interesting to see whether there's any truth in this at all, whether these will penetrate out the back or whether they will just stop within the board. Let's go shoot some stuff. And over there is three inches, 75 millimeters of seasoned 10 year old English oak. Let's see what happens. Well, certainly in, but how in? Splitting, now that is interesting. Here we are with my simulated oak door, three inches thick, 75 millimeters, and my three arrows, which have not broken. And that is a good thing because I have got brigandine testing coming up for my next film. So I need my arrows. It'll be coming soon. So let's get this back to base and we'll see what we've got. Oh, interesting. I'm back at base now with my seasoned oak plank and my two arrows stuck in it. I've removed one of them because I didn't mark out the heads beforehand, which I should have done so I could do depth. So I had to remove one, measure this one because they're all about the same and then get the result on these. But look at this one that I have just removed. I mean, absolutely mutilated. And that's the grain of the wood that causes it to bend around like that. Because don't forget this period, of course, 1188, 1182, there's absolutely no evidence of steel in arrowheads at all. So this probably would have been wrought iron, so even softer than this mild that I've used. But now back to the really interesting stuff. And this is not what I expected at all. So we have it, right? 75 millimeters, three inches of oak. This one here has penetrated 64 millimeters, two and a half inches. So not quite three. And this one a little bit less at 56 millimeters, inch and a quarter. Now, what is really interesting there is that is that much, that much from what Gerald of Wales, who I thought was frankly full of it, said that they did. So there's a few things now to talk about here. First of all, the test that I've done, it's not perfect because I've got two planks back to back. So that's not going to be as good as one single one, but we don't know how they made, they made the door. They could have done it just like that. We don't know how old their wood was. Was it green? Was it seasoned? Is it a hundred year old door? We don't know any of these questions. So in many respects, the test I've done is completely meaningless because we simply don't know. But it is like all of these tests, an indicator. And the indicator to me says that at 64 millimeters, 12 millimeters, half an inch short of going through this board, which I am stunned by. I thought it was implausible, total junk. It's not, it's close. This test 
is close. So Gerald of Wales, I take my hat off to you because genuinely I, I, I thought you were fibbing or you'd been misled. And that was not the case. What should also be noted here is I didn't frame this board and I actually didn't frame it on purpose because I have assumed here, and this is all assumptions, that a door would usually be made out of green oak, it's easier to work. And after a year it's seasoned anyway. But when it's seasoned it shrinks a little bit. So there will be gaps between the boards. Now you can cork them with all sorts of stuff, but really it's going to be a little bit gappy. So I've allowed this to move a bit. And the result here is it is that far from going through. Thank you very much. <laughs>